Today, I'm gonna to take you guys under my kitchen sink. A lot of you guys asked after one of my recent cleaning videos uh, where I mentioned and I showed you where I keep my cleaning products and I said I don't keep them under my kitchen sink. And a lot of you guys asked, well, if you don't keep your cleaning products under your kitchen sink, then what do you keep under your kitchen sink? So I thought it'd be fun to kind of share with you guys how I have rethought my kitchen. Um, and I'll link the video in the description box for you guys and in a card where you can see where I keep my trash can and my all my cleansers and things. So this is my under kitchen sink and this is the stuff that I keep in here. It just made more sense to me because of the, the pipes and the disposal. It just made more sense to me to not try to keep cleaning products in there and have all this wasted space up here. So I was thinking, what, what would make the most use of the space? I've got a long, I've got a tall, narrow space here, kind of a shorter space there, and then another shorter space there. So I decided to use it for my cookie sheets, my muffin tins, my crock pot, my large spaghetti pot, and the only cleansing products that I keep under the sink are the ones that I use to do dishes or clean my sink. So I've got my dish detergent back there and my Mrs. Meyers um, baking soda cream cleanser there, um, just because that's more convenient. But this has been the way we've had it for a couple years now and it's been working out perfectly. So I have these white dividers that you actually mount to the bottom of the cabinet. I believe they came from the container store. They may have come from Amazon, I'm not really sure. Um, but basically you can buy them as many of them as you need. So I've got one, how many do I have? One and two, looks like I just have two and I just spaced them how I wanted them. So I have my larger platters and baking sheets here. I have my cutting boards and some place mats that the girls use when we make Christmas cookies. And then my mu other muffin tins. And then this little thing keeps those from falling over and it works perfectly. It's worked for years and I like how it's customizable. I could get more of these if I wanted and have even more divisions, but two is working out just fine. I do have my crock pot right here. I've got a small little tiny crock pot back there that I don't use very often, so it's back there, as well as a fondue pot that's very tiny. It's underneath that. Like I said, I've got my large spaghetti pot here. I've actually got another spaghetti pot that's actually in the dishwasher. Um, so normally I'll just lift out that lid, put it in there, and put that lid on top. And then those two lids are for some larger skillets that I keep under my stove in the drawer under my stove. But this has worked out perfectly. And for me, I think it was the best use of space because I don't use my crock pot very often. Even at once a week, it's not hard to get in there to get it. Um, and these are really easily accessible. And I just think it works out much better for me to do it this way and keep my cleaning products in a different cabinet where my trash can stays. So if you guys wanna see how I keep my kitchen cleaning products organized, make sure that you check out the video in the description box below. It was a um, 10 minute tidy challenge that I did of my kitchen cleanser trash can cabinet. Um, but in that video, you'll get to see what I keep in there and how we have our trash can hidden away in our kitchen drawer cabinet so that it's not sitting out in the kitchen somewhere. Um, but I thought this would be fun, kind of a mysterious video to make for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure if you did, you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.